everyone. My name is Mrs. Booth and I'm one of the children's librarians at the Massapequa Public Library. In this short video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the library and what a librarian does. Living in Massapequa, you're lucky enough to have two libraries, Bar Harbor and Central Avenue. You can visit both and check materials out from both. Right now, we have slightly different hours. So please check our website, massapequalibrary.org, for full information about the hours we're open and precautions you need to take before coming into the building. Also, if you don't feel comfortable coming into the building, you can place reserves online through the catalog on our website or call and have one of the librarians do it for you. When your item comes in, we call and let you know how to pick up materials curbside. Basically, a librarian is someone who helps you find things. It might be information, such as a magazine or database article, or it might be a physical item, such as a book or DVD or video game. The librarians have ordered all these materials. That's another part of our job. So everything you see in the library has been ordered by someone who thought, I think someone would like this and want to read it or watch it. We try and have a large selection of items because people like different kinds of things. Some books are nonfiction, also called true or informational, where you can learn about different kinds of things, such as how to take care of cats, or how to play baseball, or read about a famous movie star. Some books are fiction or chapter books, which are not true. They are made up stories, like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, or the Gerald and Piggy books, or the Babysitter's Club. One last important thing I want to tell you before I read a story is that in order to get any of the wonderful things we have at the library, you need to have a library card. Again, you can check our website, massapequalibrary.org, or call either building to see what you need in order to get a library card. I hope to see you real soon in the library, and I would like to read you a book right now. So this book is called Secret Pizza Party. It's written by Adam Rubin. The pictures are by Daniel Salmiri, and it's published for Dial Books for Young Readers. I figured this would be a good book because I know everyone likes pizza. Poor raccoon, all he wants in life is some pizza. If only he knew how to ask politely. Ah, pizza. So beautiful, you could hang it on the wall of a museum. So convenient, you could eat it in the bathtub. Of course, the best part about pizza is the gooey cheesiness, salty pepperoniness, sweet, sweet tomato-ness, and a crispity, crunchity crust. Yum! Sorry, raccoon, I didn't mean to rub it in. Hey, cheer up. I just had a great idea. Let's throw a pizza party at your house tonight. Shh, don't tell anyone. This will be a secret pizza party. I know what you're thinking. Why would we keep such a delicious, delicious party a secret? Okay, sure. It's so folks don't show up to bonk you with brooms, but that's not the only reason. When you make something secret, you make it special. Regular handshake, boring. Secret handshake, booyah! Regular staircase, tiring. Secret staircase, terrific. Regular pizza party, get that raccoon off the table! Secret pizza party, get that raccoon another slice of pizza. He's the guest of honor. Hot diggity dog, our pizza party is going to be so much fun. Call the pizza man and tell him to bring over his absolute finest pizza pie. Hang on, 
wait a minute. You don't want the delivery guy to know where you live. He might recognize you from the posters and chase you off with a broom. Think, raccoon, think. Okay, now, play it cool. You're just an honest pizza-buying citizen who left his wallet in the car. The pizza man thinks you'll be right back. Let's go. I've planned the perfect getaway route around the broom factory, over the broom enthusiastics club, past the raccoon sniffing broom bots. Wait a second, raccoon sniffing broom bots. Uh-oh. Run, raccoon, run like the wind. Phew, we made it. Let's barricade the doors and pop open that pizza box. Mmm, secret pizza party. Oops, I said that kind of loud. Sorry, pizza smell gives me the happy screams. Try not to crunch too loud. Definitely no high-fiving or music or dancing. In fact, we'd better turn off the lights and whisper just to be safe. Secret pizza party. What's the matter? Sweet, sassy, molassy, look at all that pizza. Clearly these people are much better at throwing parties than they are at keeping secrets. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, you're in. Just play it cool. No one suspects a thing. Uh-oh. Secret pizza party! All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope to see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.